Hi, it's another terrific day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. I'm at our community demonstration garden. These beautiful plants and trees and shrubs. We have a new plant here on our beautiful summer day. This is a Euphorbia. Euphorbia lomelii. Look at that guy. Also known as a lady slipper, because the flowers here, they kind of look like ladies slippers. How about that? Wow. Also called a desert pencil bush. Now some people call him by his old name, Petalanthus macrocarpus. He's a desert plant, comes to us from the washes and plains of Baja California, in the Mexican deserts of Sonora to Colima. Described as an upright perennial succulent. He's got these thick green stems all bunched together. Gets about five to six feet high. He's a great accent to any desert garden. So stems here, his base here is real woody down here. He's got a root crown. And the stems are kind of light green. They're thornless. They're thick. They're jointed with little nodes here. And sometimes they branch out a little bit, like right here. Little branches. They get five to six feet tall. And they're coated with this thick waxy film. Kind of gives it a little frosted appearance. And that coating helps preserve water. And if cut, it will exude sap like our other euphorbias. They can be uh, quite irritating. See that little sap right there on my finger? Let me cut this guy off here. See that down there? It gets kind of irritating and don't get in your eyes because it'll, it'll burn you. And it's toxic to humans and animals if ingested. It's got really tiny leaves you'll find down here. See those tiny little leaves here? And they're tiny to help preserve water and prevent evaporation. And it is drought deciduous, so the leaves will fall off when it gets real hot. Wow, so when they fall off, it does its photosynthesis through the stems. So it's full of chlorophyll with this uh, sort of green coating here. And the flowers up here, they bloom from spring through summer. Right now it's late July. They range from a little peach color to red to yellow. And they appear in clusters at the tops of the stems. See those pretty flowers there? Look at that. So the flower, it really consists of two parts here. It's got a single female flower, which is this long protruding part right there. See that? That's the female. And the male flowers have a little part right there at the base and they'll surround the female flower and they develop at different times to help prevent self-pollination. And it sort of looks like a slipper. That's how it gets its name of this little plant here. And the female is a super specialized structure and insects cannot get in there. So you've got to be a little hummingbird to pollinate this. And then the male flowers, they get about an inch long Right, it's called a slipper flower. In Spanish, it's called a zapato del diablo. And that means devil shoe. Also called a gallito, which means little rooster. So when he's all done, he's got a big oblong shaped fruit that will come off the end of a female flower here. A little more towards fall, as they develop and turn a lot bright reddish these guys are still pretty young. Look at that. So the female sticking out there and then the male. It'll pollinate and uh, give us that beautiful fruit. Wow. So to grow us at home, it's non-invasive. Likes full sun, partial shade. Tolerates heat real well. But it will get damaged down to 28 degrees Fahrenheit if it gets too cold. And then it'll start getting reddening of the stems. So try to plant this out of traffic areas because it is pretty brittle and the branches will fall if you step on them or you bug them too much. And for pruning, you just cut it back anytime. Like these guys here, they can use a little pruning. You water it twice a month. Don't overwater it. And especially during dormant periods or you'll get to rot down here at the base. And it's easy to propagate by cuttings. Just a 
cut any of these off and let it dry out a little bit and then put in some potting mix and it grows real nicely. So some of the uses of this plant, well the natives, they cook the stems to get wax for candles. So this plant's also called a candelia, which means a little candle. It's used for cosmetics and varnishes and lubricants. And the sap is also used to treat chapped lips, cuts and burns. Wow, it's a little Euphorbia lomelii, or lady slipper. A little lady slipper shape there. Or a desert pencil bush out here in beautiful Cota de Casa at our little community demonstration garden. How about that? Euphorbia lomelii. All right, well, thanks for watching. Please click, like, share, subscribe, all the rest. Have a great day, bye.